Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm World Dragon and we are playing Manor Lords. We are on our gameplay where I am going to recreate or at least try to recreate some of the beautiful towns, cities and nay villages in and around Portugal. We are starting by I'm trying to make the wonderful town of Obidos. It's a historical basically long thing town very small town surrounded by old i believe moorish walls from the time of the well the moorish conquest really it's not the quite the reconquista if i've gone and said that correctly where christianity pushed the moors back out of the iberian peninsula it is from just before that or i suppose i could be around that time when they were trying to defend but yes i believe the moors built the walls around obidos and so we are going to try and recreate that town we are going to be using the manor house for the castle and so then of course the manor walls for the glorious stone town walls of course we don't quite have those things in this game just yet now we are at the point of Looking to get a church. So we do have pulpit on the go. At least we do now. We have one in the logging camp, which I'm going to keep going. We have one down here. Where are we? Here we are. In our hunting lodge. And I have gone and gone for orchardry. Now, this has gone and cost me all 50 pieces of my glorious silver. Is it silver? Oh, it's just regional wealth. I don't know if it actually says. How about now? Nope. Oh, just, just, just money. Coins. We're going to call it pieces of silver. Why not? And as I said, with that gloriousness, we do now have an apple orchard on the go. Now, of course, it does take quite a while for an apple orchard, apple orchard to grow. You can see, due to the wonderful way this orchard has gone, we're kind of missing some patches over here. Maybe I should have gone carrots instead. They were cheaper. It would have left me money left over. And just maybe... Oh, no. Here they are. They've come. A beautiful orchard. We'll have that here. These ones will all become chicken coops. They, however, cost 25 more pieces of silver. And uh, as you can see, well, we just don't have that. And so on that note... What we want to do is take out some bandit camps. Oh, there you go. No, we do have one right in the middle. We are, of course, going to wait for the Baron Hildebolt von Berenroot to go and uh, kind of do this for us. But we're also going to join in so we can get the both the reputation or the influence, I should say, sorry. Get the influence and the money by using the cheeky, hi, I'm here too, but don't kill me trick. Which we will uh, hopefully see shortly. We need to keep an eye out because the idea is we need to see his armies come onto the map. Which I think I can see. I mean, the brigand camp is right in a clearing. We should hopefully be able to see them come from some direction. Plus, you know, they could come over this, which is a massive open field. And of course, if they come from this region, they pretty much have to go through me. So I'm just going to pray and hope that... Uh, I can see that one happening. Right, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to go to advanced. Now the work area I'm going to go and slightly expand. I don't know why it's trying to tell me there's weird percentages of timber on the go. Right, well, let's just go and put you there. Oh, in fact, you're not. No, let's just go and... Give you an unlimited work area. We have basically cleared... The town square which is what we wanted to do we've got our marketplace our storehouse our granary and our little well on the go we will also build our church in here or maybe just behind here we're not quite ready to build a church yet so we'll find out surely if i just remind myself what it takes to build me a church 20 planks of course as i said the one thing that i really do want to get up and running is the mana that also takes some stone. So what I'm going to do, I've got one free family. 
I'm going to go and put them in the storehouse for now. The idea being is that hopefully they go and empty out the hides from the hunter. Then I do need to go and get that stone deposit. Market fruit variety still exists. Very nice. Thor pit definitely needs to be working. As does the granary. I mean, the storehouse to be fair could be doing with working. Yeah, I mean, we have lost a bit of market food variety. It's a bit of. I did have 51%. It would have been nice to see the uh, sixth family turn up, but it wasn't to be. It was not to be. And so one of the things I will need is Stone Cutter Camp. This will be all the way up here. Go and just for the sake of this, extend that road. That road, fair chance it's gonna get deleted. Obviously, yes, we need some unassigned families. I'm not going to worry about that too much quite yet. I'm going to keep focused on everything else we need to keep focused on. And let's go ahead and fast forward. Oh, we got a firewood stall. Very useful. Now, of course, thinking about that, I actually do need to build. Go ahead and go back to normal speed a second. I actually need to get a woodcutter's lodge. Because without one, things uh, things could get interesting. Hmm. Now, where to put one? I think I'm going to put one just outside here, if I'm perfectly honest. Now we do need people to go and build these things. So, what I'm going to go and do... Is... Go and take the person back off the storehouse. Put him on a high priority. Let's keep everything going. And once we get ourselves 20 planks, we can take someone off the saw pit. Because at that point, we will have... Ah, uh -huh. approval is back up at 51%. Maybe we'll get that sixth family without the church. Who knows? Huh. You're going to the wrong place, my friend. Should be uh, focusing on, yes, the woodcutter's lodge. Or you focus on stonecutter's camp. More to the point, you can have your market stall turned off. You don't have a market stall, that makes perfect sense. Oh, people should come and build this ever so shortly. And we do need fuel, so <laughs> I if they can build it quite fast, that would be nice. someone on there. Let's think. Uh, no, let's not worry too much about your work area. Is more food or more fuel? Now we got a month. We got a month. We're good. We're good. There you go. We're gathering more fuel back again. We are all good. A new family started moving in. Fantastic. There is our sixth family without needing the church. Have a water on. We're on 20 planks. Let's actually go and make it 25. Because for instance, then I can upgrade my hitching post as well. Go. Let's take someone off him. Let us upgrade to a small stables. Put someone back in the storehouse. And with that... We do actually need more houses. So we're getting a good amount of food coming in. 
Now, of course, none of these would upgrade to level 2 because they're all too small. So I could do with the next set of housing, which... I'm very tempted to just build exactly the same coming off the other side of the road. More stables built. Obviously, we're now going to go up and grab the Stonecutter's Camp. So let us... Let's simply start... Yep, yeah, there you go. Let's just go and build the two for now. Let's have you cut down these trees for me. Yeah, beautiful bit of fuel coming back up. We got a lovely amount of food. And we're doing pretty good at construction. We should keep good market food variety. Because by the time we run out of our bread, which is slowly decreasing, we should hopefully start to get some apples in. That'll be very nice. Resource stolen by the bandits. Do we have more bandits? Or just our usual suspects here in the middle? Just the usual suspects here in the middle. Okay then. What we could definitely start to do, I feel, is... Put someone back in here. Oh, we need another side family. Good, that's all good. It was almost finished as well. So close. We're gonna do. I'm gonna take someone off. Still house for now. And I am gonna go and request to be built a trading post. And let me try and figure out what what what, what exactly am I? Here's the road that comes down. There's the road from the top. We're obviously gonna want this. Just, I'm going to put it just outside the city walls. Now I get not necessarily the most to a tactical place to put it. Like I said, I'm going to want it just outside the city walls, I think. Oh, nice. We got another one of our family storages full at the saw pit. Good look at that. Let's turn you off. Have yet yeah, lots of fuel, lots of food. Just again, about as I said, keeping a good variety. We've still got four bread. That's our starting bread, ladies and gentlemen. From the beginning of the game, let's put one person in the stone cutter camp. Start building up some stone so we can build our manor house as well. I know we still haven't built the church, but uh, well. We're not quite needing it just yet, so we're going to hold off until we do. But yeah, we've still got one living space left. And plenty of people left to keep doing what we need to be doing. Put him back in the storehouse. One free family. We'll hopefully get one more. Very soon, actually, to be honest, because our approval is fantastic. There's an abandoned firewood store. Oh no. Probably this guy should have picked it back up. A new family started moving in. That's what we wanted. Now, if I go to trade, what I, in essence, want... Trade. I mean, I'm not going to get much, but I could start trading planks. Pretty much a free resource. Uh, meat's worth the same, so I'd rather tra trade planks. Hides! That's a minor trade. Let's export that. Desired surplus. Let's drop down to 20 for now. 
We will turn that off because, of course, we want to start making leather, which will ca count. Uh, you don't need a market stall, which will count as our clothing supply for all of our families. But again, hey, we're not looking to go up to level two at this point, so it's all good. It's all good. Generic storage is full. Ah, oh, well, I'll be. How come? What are you guys doing? You're all transporting. Okay, right, yeah, one of you's up here gathering this, but it uh, just fills up too fast, quite frankly. <laughs> yep, we just can't quite keep that surplus down. That's all right. We've almost completely pulled up the stone deposit anyway, to be honest. So let's not worry about that too much. Three months worth of fuel. That's quite all right. You guys still working? Uh... haven't run out of those few trees I asked you to cut down quite yet. Okay, everything is moving along nicely. Let's uh, slow down ever so briefly. And of course, yes, I would actually need to assign someone to the trade post to start that trading. It's amazing how many times I do that. Absolutely amazing. And look at those absolutely beautiful autumn trees. They just look gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. Don't they just look gorgeous? Now, I'm going to go and take some person off the hunting camp because we are getting into autumn and winter but that's all right because we do have 10 months of food of food we should get through winter very easily and we should hopefully start to make some regional wealth So, I think we can simply go back to fast forwarding. I mean, I could go and build a church, but like I said earlier, I really want to focus on the manor. Because once I've built the manor, then I can basically now... Mana should be at this end. All simply because if I'm kind of using this and it's definitely off shape, but if I'm kind of using this as the rough outline of Obidos, the castle is up this end basically, so the castle should in essence be right in here. However, I think it does say it's too steep to build. I also think I'm gonna have a it does need to generally face into the into town I'm perfectly honest well, that could be a very good place uh, where is I think that's my road just there yes just in here works absolutely fantastically now you're not supposed to use your mana and your mana walls to in essence uh, did I? Yep, there it is. As town walls. That's not what they're there for. Now, if you do this, everything you put inside the town walls, as far as I know, this still happens, basically becomes uninteractable. So I want to get this down because everything you then build after the manor house, or after you've potentially um, assigned the town walls, town, huh, manor walls, very much not town walls, that's the problem. You can then, uh, you can then build stuff inside of them, and it still counts, and allows it to be interactive, from what I remember. Of course, the other way of simply doing this is I just build the walls as the very last thing, which is always an option. It is most always an option. 
So maybe we will simply go that way. I'm not sure. But for now, we have the manor house down and that will be built. We do need to uh, ever so slightly. But we definitely need to build it a wall, a wall, a road. Which will snake down and up, which would be a kind of. Where's, where's, where's the front of this building gone? It will, in essence, be kind of accurate. So, if this was Obido's castle, roughly where it's situated, roughly where it kind of faces, and yes, there is in fact a road or street just in front of it. But, uh, again... As I said, this is a game and I only have so many resources available, so I do ask your forgiveness for a little bit of poetic license. Let's go ahead and fast forward again, we'll get the manor house built. And I guess we really should, in fact I'll let that be built first, just because I am a little worried about things becoming non-interactable. But then like I said, maybe I just leave it so that, uh, so that the walls are the last thing I build. And if that was the case, then the next thing that needs to go up is my wooden church, which... I kind of want to build in the middle, but I kind of actually want to build just below it. Kind of have a square. Although I said, I think... I'm trying to remember where roughly was the... I know it's off the town square. And there's, there's, there is more than... Oh, hello. We've, uh... Oh, we've got a new bandit camp. I us say how it sounds, that's okay. That's just uh, one more to destroy when we get around to it. Now, there is more than one church in Obidos, as there is in most towns and places in Portugal. Now, trying to remember exactly where... I think there could have been... There might have been two on the town square. I think there could be one below it and one beside it. So, that being the case... Again, I apologize, there is... Oh, we're going to have to chop down some trees either way. I think I'm actually going to build it beside it, just here. I might put it down a tiny bit so I can potentially put another house in there with a little bit of space. I think I'm going to put it down just here. Either way, for me to do that, we do need to go and chop down some trees. So let us go and uh, deforest this area, please. And let's go back to that fast forward button, shall we? And I believe, by the looks of things, I'm not sure if there's a bit of water turning up, or whether... Uh, nope, nope, ice isn't coming in. It was just a bit of water, I think. Generic storage full. For who now? What's the point? Oh, you're still going. We've still got a little bit of stone left. Oh, it's not you. You haven't got generic storage full. It'll be the saw pit then, I guess. No, it's not the saw pit. Who is it? Logging camp? Ah, logging camp. Fair enough. Uh, you're gonna go up to 12, which is actually where I wanted you from the beginning. And, uh... We'll have you back very, very shortly. Now, winter has arrived. Oh, we've almost got all of our planks. Here, we have all of our planks. Now we just need to get the stone down there. Which shouldn't be a problem. Four spears and four large shields. Resources were stolen by bandits. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna happen. Have 16 spearmen. We will, of course, get that all the way up to 20 once we get a couple more houses. Oh, ho, ho, and we're making some money. And so with that money... Let us go and, in fact, and the next most important thing, we're going to go and order another ox. We are still making... Nice. Bit of money off those hides. And you know what, yeah, let's go and 
Chuck down. A couple of chicken coops. That'll help again keep the variety of food. We should hopefully be getting apples in another couple of months. Trees have been growing for a little while. You can see the lovely bare bones in winter. We should hopefully get some uh, apples soon. And of course we do have to now have some chicken coops to maybe, just maybe, get us some eggs. Am I down on heights? No, I've still got a little bit of space to grab some heights. You are finished with the stone. Very nice. There you go. We are now have up to ten. Well, we do in fact have those ten families. And what's the point with these stone cutter camps now? All done. Let's demolish stone cutter camp. And I will in fact move our logging industry up here at some point soon. As I would like that to be out of the city, basically. Very nice, very nice. How are we doing? We are on 16 animals. Like I said, I'm just waiting for the point where we have eggs! We have eggs, ladies and gentlemen. Huzzah! <laughs> I don't know, I've, I've never, I've not quite gotten used to how fast or slow you kind of get eggs in the door, so to say. So, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not really used to seeing eggs in the, uh, in the pantry, so to say. Oh, more to the point. Uh, oh. Oh, you're turned off anyway. As are you. That's interesting. As the firewood, the firewood stall has been picked back up. Well done, guys. Well done. Love your work. Of course, yes, we have the well. We should probably build another well, if I'm perfectly honest. I don't like to be found short when, uh, especially when it comes to things like fires. As, uh, those are, they're always good fun. I'm going to put one right by there, next to my wood industry because that's I find quite often the place that's uh, at risk. Fans, clear the area. Uh, yeah, no, that should be fine now. Generic storage is full. Yep, yeah, fair enough. <gasps> now they're starting to steal my tools. Whatever shall I do? Yeah, glorious tools which have no use in the game whatsoever anymore. I believe they were used for upgrading buildings, but they were removed and have yet to be put back in. No, don't know where to put the supplies. I guess we'll take someone off the logging camp for now because, well, we don't actually need any logging at this point. How are we doing? Uh, we still got some animals to go. I like that. A band of raiders roaming the nearby land. We track their steps. Track their movement. Okay. And let's go and actually pause. Baron von Hildebrandt. Now there he is. Now I'm not sure in which direction he's going to go. He, uh... Where does it look like we're marching? Exactly. You look like you're going, I would say, diagonal not straight up through my land and that being the case I'm gonna go and guess he's marching we still just have the two camps yeah I'm gonna say he's marching here not to this one that being the case uh when we come back next episode I will definitely try the sneaky beaky hi I'm here but don't kill me give me all of the influence and money thank you very much trick which basically involves kind of following his army in and then stealing the glory. And we'll try and do that for both camps, both sets of bandits or outlaws. Because if we do that, we can get a very nice amount of money. Some of which will go to me, some of which will go to village. And so on that, we're going to end by doing a very last... 
bit of upgrading for those two buildings. That would put us at four chicken coops and one lovely orchard. Oh, we've got eggs. We've just got eggs, people. There's there eggs everywhere. And so on that, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go and leave it there. Thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you will continue to join me as I attempt to rebuild Obidos from my memory as I was recently there in the beautiful country of Portugal. And uh, yeah, like I said, but with, with some small artistic license, which I hope you'll all forgive me for. And so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and until we see you again, I hope that you can stay safe, happy, and healthy.